A Tesla is at the center of another deadly crash investigation. This time, divers pull a Model S car out of an East Bay pond. Good afternoon. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Ann Makovic. Michelle is off today. And the big question now is was the Tesla on autopilot? KPIX 5's Jessica Flores has the latest in the investigation. This is where the Tesla veered off Crow Canyon Road. You can see where it smashed through this fence here. It took a dive into the pond on private property, and divers found that driver dead inside the vehicle. Alameda County Sheriff's Department says its dive team spent hours Sunday night into Monday early morning getting to the Tesla submerged in murky pond water. Divers pulled out the body of 34 year old Danville resident Keith Leong. When our divers found him, he was strapped into the vehicle. The property owner noticed the damage and called in the crash. The Tesla Model S found about 65 feet from the embankment. The vehicle did travel a significant uh, ways from the roadway, so it is believed that the vehicle could have gone airborne uh, based on some of the damage to a sign located in the area. We have never dealt with a submerged car, electric car like that before, but uh, we did take some precautions. We did obviously make the proper phone calls to make sure that we were okay, that when we touched the car, that our divers were safe. The deadly crash happened off this windy road in unincorporated Alameda County, about a mile from San Ramon. CHP says drivers often speed through Crow Canyon Road, but investigators don't know yet what caused the crash or when it happened. Investigators say the crash could have happened as early as Saturday night. But it had, he had been, not been seen for well over 24 hours. At this point, investigators do not know whether or not the Tesla Model S was in autopilot mode. Reporting from Castro Valley, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5. Now, earlier this month, a Tesla Model S rear-ended a fire truck in Utah. Investigators confirmed that car was on autopilot. Luckily, the driver's only injury was a broken ankle. And back in March, a Bay Area Tesla driver was killed when his car slammed onto a barrier on 101 in Mountain View. That Tesla was also on autopilot at the time. 